say something. I'm so glad you're the ones that are here tonight. And you can be a part of this. We are too. Now this next lady I'd like to bring to the stage, I know you're gonna enjoy her. She's a lot of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Tony Feldman. Let her hear it, Tony. And I can tell you the number one question people have for accountants is, well, they don't have a question. <laughs> but in my new life, I'm a screenwriter, and screenwriters have all the answers. For example, who can fly an airplane? Anyone, as long as they have someone in the control tower to talk them down. For another example is, what do all bombs have? Timers with big red numbers so we know exactly how long it's gonna be before the thing blows up. <laughs> and the other and probably most important question is, where do all great screenwriters live? Is there anyone in the office who knows? In the audience? Sarasota, out there is the, are the Sarasota screenwriters and there are a bunch of them. Can I hear you? I can't hear you. Half a room full of Sarasota screenwriters. So if you want to be a screenwriter, you might think LA is the place to be, but I've got news for you. We are here and we've got a plan. For example, we are all taking classes because we are gonna hone our skills. We are becoming expert at social media so we can be connected. And frequently, we take off and we fly into Los Angeles so that we can meet with actual real producers. Of course, it costs us a lot of money to do this. But, if we are gonna succeed, we have to pitch our ideas, which is as natural to a screenwriter as stand-up comedy is to an accountant. <laughs> so a lot of you might think that pitching has something to do with baseball. No, we're talking about pitching ideas. And the, whole I, and the whole thing is that you are meant to describe a movie idea in a way that it would appeal to someone else. So, uh, well, let's see. A good example would be a few years ago, my husband wanted me to go to a movie with him. And I'm thinking, we don't even like the same movies. What, he, he want, so, okay, tell me what it is. And he says, well, it's a movie about a woman with an un unusual birth defect. And she finds a doctor who has an unusual solution. And it turns out the movie was Deep Throat. <laughs> that's, that's a pitch. That's a pitch that sells. So another thing that screenwriters have to be is collaborative. Uh, for example, the great late Igmar Bergman said that cinema belongs to the whoring and slaughterhouse trades. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, it kind of explains what I'm doing here at the comedy club in <laughs> Curtis. We may want to write Casablanca or Die Hard, but if you add a producer to the mix, you're gonna write snakes on a plane. <laughs> Francis Ford Coppola gave us the great movie, The Godfather. And he said that if you're a person who says yes a lot, you're probably gonna wind up working in the hotel business. <laughs> well, it must be true because frankly, in my not so retired life, I, I have a couple of hotels in upstate New York. Small, they are small. 
But Scan it's in a community called Scanny Atlas. It is a perfect Norman Rockwell place, a pristine lake. Brass bands play in the gazebo at Christmas. Dickens characters sing carols. My kids, when they come, their eyes roll and they say they feel like everyone's gonna break out in song. <laughs> but people come. For example, we're not that far from New York City, so we get people who come and go, I'm here to relax. <laughs> and then I hear them in the hallway rattling the locks on the doors and they wanna know if it's safe in our little town. And I say, look, if you come to Skinny Atlas, no stranger is gonna kill you. If you get killed here, it's gonna be your family. <laughs> Which gives me an idea for my next screenplay. This is my pitch. A famous baseball player comes to Skinny Atlas with his new trophy wife. And it's a Norman Rockwell town, but it's got an Alfred Hitchcock's twist. So his bored wife starts cheating on him with his brother. Here's the payoff. The baseball player takes his brother to the sandbox and they start playing a game of ball. And the pitcher winds up and he throws that ball as hard as he can and his brother sees it coming and it's the shrunken head of his sister-in-law's <laughs> face. It hits him right in the kisser and it kills him flat. Now, here's the finale. The town rises up and they break into song. Do 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 do. Cause it's a thriller. Thank you. How was that? Tony's also available for children's parties, so keep that in mind.